My name's Najee, and today I'll be driving the 2023 EQE SUV. Jimmy, the product manager for this all new electric SUV for Mercedes Benz, is here to show me around. I'm curious to learn what special features this sportier electric SUV has to offer, especially in the area of driver assistance and range efficiency. And I hope he doesn't mind if we make a quick stop along the way. Man, Jimmy, this is a beautiful car. How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. So the very, very first thing that came to mind was the size of this thing. Uh -huh. So I'm right now in the GLC. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for the everyday drive. Me and the pup take long trips. I'll go hiking a bit. Mm -hmm. This is a lot bigger than the GLC, but also a little bit smaller than the GLE. Is that right? That's right. Most of our EQ models are kind of right in between their gasoline brothers and sisters. Mm. So it's about two inches shorter and it's about four inches less tall. So the car is a little bit smaller on the outside, but it's GLE on the inside. Yes, so you have the same level of comfort, leg room, arm room, shoulder room, nice. all the rooms as you would <laughs> in the front and the second row of a GLE. Nice, so if you think about the EQ model lineup in its entirety, where does this sit next to those EQs? The EQE SUV is really your perfect companion for your everyday adventures. The EQS SUV is the larger version of the EQE SUV and space for up to seven, whereas the EQE seats up to five. Nice. So one of the second things that I had noticed was this has the digital light. And that's new on EQs, is that right? When you get digital light, you get this cool light band that goes the whole way across the car, so it adds that EQ family design. And then you also comes equipped with our most advanced headlight system. Ooh. So it has over 1 million pixels per headlight Ooh. and has the capability of projecting symbols and animations in front of you. Man, that sounds cool. And I noticed too here are some, some running boards, are those standard? So the running boards are optional in the EQE, okay. but they not only help give it a little bit more of an SUV stance, mm -hmm. because of the design of the running board, it improves the aerodynamics a little bit, mm -hmm. which helps give you a little bit more range when you have them equipped. Wow, well, who would have thought running boards would add range efficiency? Right? That's impressive. What are other elements of the car's exterior provide optimal aerodynamics. Every Mercedes EQ is basically wind tunneled to be as efficient and aerodynamic as possible. Even starting at the front, it's all closed off and smooth. I mean, a smooth, seamless design is a hallmark of the EQ family. So every aspect of the car has really been fine-tuned to get the best aerodynamics and also the best range. Even the wheels? Even the wheels. So these are our 21-inch five quad spokes. The EQE starts at 19-inch, goes up to 21. You can see a kind of a large black rim that goes the whole way around it. Oh, yeah. So it increases the surface area of the wheel to make it a little bit more slippery as it goes through the wind. I'm glad you mentioned big wheels, 21 inch wheels, because I know the larger the wheel, the better oftentimes it is for off-roading. Mm -hmm. Me and the dog love to go for hikes and sometimes to get to our destinations, we gotta do a little bit of off-roading, which mm -hmm. I enjoy. Would a vehicle like the EQE SUV be suitable for off-road? All the 4Matic models of the EQE are equipped with an off-road drive mode. Nice. And that updates your throttle mapping, your traction control response, and then when equipped with Airmatic, the air suspension system, it also lifts the car up to help you conquer all your terrains. And then one cool thing it has is this feature called transparent hood. Transparent hood. Now what is that? Because I'm looking at the hood now and I see this beautiful blue color. What's transparent about this? Well, why don't we head inside the car and I'll show you. Let's do it. Man, this interior, something special, man. So we talked about the transparent hood. I need to see it. Explain to me how it works, what it is. All right, cool. So if we head into the off-road menu and then tap on the camera icon on the bottom, it brings up a camera image of the front of the car, almost as if there were a camera right on top of the hood that could see through it. Wow. If we're driving somewhere and there's a tree branch in the road, you can see where that tree branch is or maybe avoid some rocks or some other obstacles that could be in your way. So it's almost a maneuvering feature. Exactly. Wow, that's actually quite intuitive. I couldn't help but notice how luxurious this interior is on mm -hmm. this car. Can you tell me a little bit more about some of the, the build that we have here? So this is our Neva Gray with Biscayo Blue leather upholstery. Biscayo Blue. So the upper dashboard is finished in Neotex. So it's this super soft kind of velvety touch that it kind of almost feels like neoprene or like some other kind of cool high-tech high material tech, yep. that adds this really nice texture put together with this leather look in Neva Gray. Talk about color coordination. I mean, I noticed some hints of rose gold, not only in the AC ventilation, but also is this rose gold stitching? It is. So the dashboard has rose gold stitching flowing into the doors. And it also pairs really nicely with this wow. rose gold trim band that goes the whole way across. So Jimmy, obviously this car has GPS, but will it tell me where I can stop to get charged and how much charge I might get to my destination with? Yes. All you have to do is tell the car where you want to go 
and it figures that out for you all behind the scenes. Can you show me how that looks? Uh, yeah, let me show you real quick. Actually, actually, Jimmy, I got a place in mind that I want to go. All right, cool. That address yeah, go right ahead. Thank you, man. Tap navigate, and then the car will calculate if we have enough range to get there. Mm -hmm. If we do need to stop and charge along the way, mm -hmm. it finds a fast charger on your route and minimizes the amount of time you have to spend there. So we may only need to stop for 10, 15, 20 minutes max. So the biggest call out there that I quote was it finds a fast charger. Not only for the fastest chargers, it uses the Mercedes Me charge service mm -hmm. to see what chargers are actively online and available. Wow. And then if, for example, we're heading somewhere and all the charging spaces get taken because people are all charging, mm -hmm. it recognizes that and then finds us the next one along the route. Okay, ready to go? Let's do it. All right. Jimmy, I commute back and forth between work mm -hmm. and the gym pretty often, and there's a good shot of highway for me to do that. We're jumping on that same highway now, and I'm curious to know what the performance of the EQE SUV is. The EQE 350 formatic that we're driving right now has 288 horsepower and zero to 60 time, about 6.2 seconds. And I definitely felt that right away performance, jumping on that arm ramp. Mm -hmm. um, couldn't tell you how fast I was going, but it sure felt fast. The speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> definitely the speed limit. While we're on the highway, we can definitely test out the driver assistance systems. So to turn those on, it's all on the left side of the steering wheel. The on button is kind of where your thumb is. And then you'll tap set to set the speed that you want the car to be at. It looks at the car in front of you and sees how fast they're going, then adjusts your speed accordingly so you're always a safe distance away from the car in front of you. Also super helpful when you're in stop and go traffic because then the car can kind of accelerate and brake for you, which is really convenient. And then so like this car in front of us just merged in front of us and you can kind of feel the car and start the car to slow back. down. Yeah. It's pretty neat. So we're going to test the active lane changes. So right now, foot isn't on the brake, foot isn't on the gas, yep. kind of letting the car do its own thing. Mm -hmm. And then we're expecting the car to automatically change lanes for me. Yeah, so the car in front of us is going a little slower than the set speed. Once the lane change is safe to do, you'll hear a chime. Now when that chime happens, is there also like a visual reference for me to see within the head unit as I'm driving? Oh, there Perfect it example. is. There so it is. you have this little pop-up here with a green arrow that shows you it's making the left merge. Once we've passed this car, it would merge back into the lane that we were just in. You can also use that same feature to make sure we're in the right lane that we need to be. So if the highway split, we need to be in the right lane, it'll start to merge us over to the right lane. Or if we're about to approach a exit, it'll try to get us towards the exit lane. So Jimmy, I'm coming from a GLC SUV mm -hmm. right now, but I must say the EQE SUV feels like a big step up. Mm -hmm. So soft, so elegant. Mm -hmm. It makes me wonder, what are some of the comfort features that come available in the EQE? Every time I'm in a Mercedes, I always check to see right away if it has massaging seats. Yes. And it really helps take away some of that stress from just being in traffic. After a long day of work, it helps kind of relax you a little bit. So in the comfort menu, you have a whole bunch of different programs, including some ones with a hot stone effect, which nice. is really perfect for those like chilly fall mornings or like cold winter days when you need a little bit of extra warmth to get you going. Wait, so I see you brought up the massage feature here on the screen. Does mm -hmm. this mean that it works while we drive? Yeah, so if I tap it on, you'll start to feel some kind of kneading in your back. Oh man, yeah, I feel it. And then it'll start to apply some like gentle heat since I turned on the hot relaxing massage. And then it'll kind of press that heating up against your back like you were getting a hot stone massage. Man, this gets me excited about sitting in traffic now. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about the portfolio of EQs available. What's the distinction that the EQE SUV has, say, against the EQS sedan or EQS SUV? The EQE SUV introduces a couple of powertrain enhancements. That's the first to launch on the whole EQ line. For example, the Formatic Intelligent Powertrain Management System, which checks 160 times a second whether or not we need all-wheel drive. It allows the front axle to roll freely without any of that resistance. So it helps improve the range between 5 and 10%. And then the EQE also introduces a heat pump, which is new to the EQ family. And what that does is in really cold weather, 
usually the car uses the battery power to help bring that warm air into the cabin and, and heat it up so you're nice and cozy in the winter time. With the new heat pump system, it uses the waste heat generated by the powertrain, so captures that heat that would otherwise be wasted and uses it which heats up the cabin. So you get a real life range improvement of about 10% in the winter. Wow, so not only range improvements, but that also taps a little bit into the sustainability. Yeah, you can feel confident about the range on the odometer and what the car says the car will get um, because of these efficiency features. Nice. Jimmy, I'm gonna make a quick stop. Oh, okay. One second, kind of last minute here. All right, What? where are we going? I'll be right back. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, he got his dog. Well, hey there. Who's this? This is Cyber. She's coming hey. for a ride along. Hey, friend. We going on an adventure together? Say yes. Come on. All right. Let's go. 